Hi, this is Teacher Jane, and we are going to answer 10 items under verbal reasoning. Verbal reasoning will test your ability to think and interpret meaning and to use relationships from one situation to the next. Let's start with number one. If apple is to B Q Q M F, mouse is to blank. A F Q J B O B N P V T F C M B H N B or D S B J S Z. Using this analogy, we can notice that A, letter A, is paired with B. Letter P is paired with Q. Letter P again is paired with Q. And then letter L is paired with M. And then E is paired with F. It's like the pair of each letter is the letter after it in the sequence in the alphabet so using that analogy what should be paired with mouse or the letters m o u s e let's start with letter m if a comes after b what comes after m m comes what comes after m is letter n what comes after o p what comes after letter U? V. What comes after letter S? T. And then what comes after letter E? It's letter F. So the pair of the word mouse is letter B, N, P, V, T, F. Next, number two. Small is to minuscule, tall is to blank. In the first pair of words, we can notice that small and minuscule are synonyms or they mean the same or they have similar meanings. Small means little or tiny and so does minuscule. Using this relationship, what is similar or synonymous to the word tall? Is it A. Towering, B. Huge, C. Squat or D. Stumpy. The word tall is similar or synonymous to the word letter A. Towering. When we say towering, like towering height, it's a very tall structure or a very tall building. Number three. Mass is to kilogram. Length is to blank. I think this discussion can also fall under science and we are going to refer to the basic units or the SI units or the sis international system of units because the base unit for mass is kilogram and what should be paired with length what is the basic unit for length is it a meter b yard c foot or d hectare the answer is letter a meter the basic unit for length or distance is a meter number four chicken is to egg human is to blank a fallopian tube B. Uterus, C. Stomach, or D. Ovary. The relationship of chicken and egg is something that refers to how an organism or how the animal like the chicken is nourished. The chicken is nourished inside the egg. Using that analogy, how is a human or a fetus nourished before going outside to the world? So is it nourished in the fallopian tube? In the stomach? No. So is it uterus or ovary? A human being prior to being born is nourished inside letter B, uterus. Number five. Number five. Cat is to kitten, goat is to blank. Now, this question is very easy. The baby form or the little form of a cat is called a kitten. Using that relationship, what is the baby form? 
of goat. So is it A, Joey, B, cub, C, kid, or D, pup? Joey is the baby form for kangaroo. And pup is the shortened form for puppy. And that's a dog's baby form. Is it cub or kid? The answer is letter C, kid. Cub may be used as the baby or a little version of a lion. But kid is the term for the baby form for the goat. Number six. Cover is to conceal. Stop is to blank. So these pair, pairs of words are still under the synonyms or those words that have similar or even the same meaning. When you cover something, you hide it, you conceal it. Now how about stop? When you stop something, do you A. Introspect, B. Reflect, C. Halt, or D. Ponder? When you stop, you, letter C, halt. Stop walking, it means you halt or you uh, stop whatever you're doing. So stop is to halt. Introspect and reflect are similar, and to ponder is to think. But when you stop, it's when you halt. Number seven, bowed strings is to violin, woodwind is to blank. Bowed strings or bowed strings are those, it's a certain type of instrument with strings like a violin, a guitar, a viola. And how about woodwind? Which among the following is an example of a woodwind instrument? Is it A, guitar, B, flute, C, piano, or D, horn? Among the options, the only woodwind instrument is letter, letter B, flute. Number eight, green is to go, red is to blank. Oh, this is very, very, very easy. It's the colors of the traffic light. When it's green, we go, we move forward. But when it's red, we, of course, it's letter D, we stop. We stop the car. <laughs> we stop when the traffic light is color red. Number nine, hungry is to fool. Dirty is to blank. Is it A. Tidy, B. Sorted, C. Grungy, or D. Crude? Still under the category of synonyms and similar words. But this time, it's no longer called synonyms. It's the opposite of the synonyms, which are antonyms. When we say antonyms, these words are opposite. Or they are in contrast. They are opposite ends of each other. Like, hungry is the opposite of full. Before eating, you are hungry. But after eating, you are full. What should be paired with dirty? So, dirty, it means in a mess. Or it's, it's not pleasing to look at. It's... It's dirty. So the opposite of dirty is, is letter A, tidy. Tidy means clean. So um, before cleaning, you are dirty. But after cleaning, you are now tidy. And last item number 10. Chick is to cheeks. Cheeks. Sheep is to blank. Now, this is very easy. As you can notice in the first relationship, chick is to chicks. It's just the plural form of the first word. The plural form of chick is chicks. What is the plural form of sheep? Is it A, sheeps, B, sheep, C, sheps, or D, shep? Now, you might be confused and you automatically answer sheeps, but that's a no, no, no. The plural of the word sheep is still letter B, sheep. The word sheep is one of those irregular nouns in which their singular and plural forms are just the same word. 
Okay, and that's the end of verbal reasoning. See you in our next videos. Review well, and God bless.